Welcome to Robin Hood Shaving Artisans. If you want to know how to shave with this uh, Perrazzo shaving cream and be able to win this roll of toilet paper, stay tuned. We'll be right back. I'm going to show you how. I've had this Perrazzo shaving cream here sitting on my table for about two months and I decided it's time to use it. Along with this I'm going to use my Edwin Jagger DE89KN razor. This is the second razor I think that I bought and I already have a razor blade in there. That's the Astra blade and it's, uh, this will be the third use I've used it. I'm not going to use a pre-shave but I will be using a brush. This is the uh, Frank shaving brush. I believe this is a, uh, it doesn't feel like a synthetic, although it could be, I think this is a, uh, a badger brush. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's a badger brush. Frank, badger, bad, I'll get it right. Frank shaving badger brush. There we go. Had it soaking for a few minutes. So let's begin this. I'm gonna take some of this here and then I'll put it in my little holder here. Probably put too much in. I put about that much in. We'll see. This is real handy if you're going to go on a trip. You want to take something with you that's not under gas pressure and explodes on you in the airplane. So that should be fine. All right, let's wash up and uh, begin. I'm going to turn my hat around. I hope you're all surviving the coronavirus thing. It's really getting out of hand. You know, I talked to some of my friends in London today. They're having the same problems that we are having here in the U.S. But you know what? You got to be fluid like water. And be, be able to adjust to what's going on around you. Either in business, personal finances, relationships, etc. If not, you're going to lose the battle. All right, let's... Uh, Take the water out of this, and we'll uh, see how well it lathers. I have no idea. It should lather pretty well because I like Peraza products. Oh, it smells really nice. Oh, it's gonna do fine. Went to the store the other day, bought some food. Not toilet paper, I've got that already. A lot of people, didn't prepare at all and uh, I don't mean to be uh, paranoid about it but you got to prepare for eventualities that are things like this will happen it's like having insurance on your house or your car you don't expect it to go on fire or your car engine to blow up but you still have insurance on it so you should always have a stockpile of uh, water in case a tornado hurricane hits you depending where you live. This is really creamy soap. I've had about, oh, about two days growth on my beard. All right, let's put this on and see how we do. I'm gonna empty my water out, put some hot water in here, and then float my, uh, other soap if I don't make a lot of noise. There we go. Okay. Hope none of you are sick. As you know, I just got over my flu. I was eight days in the hospital. I still cough occasionally, but I'm, I'm very fortunate and blessed this is nice soap it really covers very nicely and I probably could use a lot less soap on this we're putting soap in my bowl ah oh, smells nice it's not overpowering but it just smells really nice all right let's give this uh Edward Jagger razor it's a very mild razor. 
three piece. See how we do here. Nice, very nice, very smooth. I always had good luck with this razor. No surprises. I like Astro Blades. There's a little bit of an overhang on this razor here. I don't know if you can see it. Put that up like that. Maybe you can see it. There you go. Not much. Okay, first pass is done. Went down for the second pass. Put my face again. Some guys just use uh, water between the shaves to wet it, but I always use soap for some reason. Just a habit I got into it. Still a lot of soap on this. This is really nice soap. Wow, very slippery. Smells good. Won't cost you an arm and a leg. So, it just goes on really nice. It's not foamy, at, you know, maybe not foamy. Not a lot of air bubbles in it, which is great. Just feels, ah, oh, smells good. I would say uh, slurpiness, I'd say about a 10, a 1 out of 10. Uh, the feeling when you shave with it, I guess I could go by that, it's about a 10. The smell of it, I'd say, is about an 8. Not overpowering, but very nice. Let's go sideways instead of down. Would I buy this soap again? Yes. If you have any comments about this particular shave and soap, the razor, the razor blade, let me know. Put it down below. Any questions, put those in too. I have to be careful when I go over my old age wrinkles there. Don't worry, you'll get them too. Here we go. You know, there's no surprises with this razor. It's not, uh, it's a very gentle mid-aggression mid razor. I imagine if you used a, uh, a feather blade in it, it could be more uh, challenging, let's say. 
But I'd still not be afraid. I wouldn't be afraid to use it. Maybe next shave I'll do that. Just to show you. Better than I bleed than you, right? Yep. All right. Still a lot of uh, lather in there. Look at that bowl. I think you could put this right on your face too if you didn't have a bowl. Or you're stuck on one of those cruise ships for uh, three or four weeks in the ocean someplace where they won't let you uh, dock. See, that's why you should shave with one of these because this way of shaving, with the world it is today, everybody's uptight, shooting people over toilet paper. Oh my God. And uh, they're worried about this and they're worried about that. They're worried about their kids in school. You need to take some time for yourself, even if it's only 10 or 15 minutes, to get away from all of it. So DE shaving or wet shaving is a perfect way to do it. You kind of escape into your own little world for a little bit. And you're being nice to yourself. You're pampering yourself. And that's okay. It's cheaper than a psychologist. All right, this should be the last pass. We're going to go up against the grain now. It's funny. I just thought of my clock here. I keep talking about my clock. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here. This is my clock. And uh, I can't hear it. But when uh, I play the videos back, it's there. Very nice shape. I'm impressed with this uh, shaving cream. All right. One more little pass I think I'll do. Since I've got the, the cream available in my bowl, why not? Because I need to do the neck anyway. Those uh, hairs on the neck always try to hide on you down here. I'll just do the whole face again. All right. Nice, okay. There's uh, two razors I recommend if you're a beginner, at least two. This one, the Edgar Jagger DE89. You can use it with a KN handle if you want to. This part here is a little different. What KN stands for, I have no idea. Maybe Neural. The other one is the Merker. 34C. They seem to be the most popular ones to begin with. I would also throw in the Merker 37C. As you well know, I love that razor. It's a slant bar razor. How we doing, guys? Okay. Perfect. 
All right. Wash it off with some cold water now. You know, I've noticed that these rags, they look gray and brown. They're not dirty. It's just that they're old. They've been cleaned. And the only way to get them white again, like to make them look like this, <laughs> is to bleach them again. And bleaching isn't going to really help them that much. So you're, if you're seeing in the background, you say, geez, about get some other rags I just like these they're clean all right I'm gonna dry my face a little bit and then we're gonna put some witch hazel on I'm gonna use Thayer's cucumber looks like that you got to get some of this if you don't have any it lasts forever Nice. Look younger already, don't I? I'm gonna let that dry. Since I've had comments about I should leave my witch hazel dry first. Then I'm gonna use my standby uh, tobacco, Eau de Cologne. This is given to me, gosh, 1960, oh, 66 when I was in Bern, Switzerland. I had a friend up in the mountains, Utsigam, and she put this in my suitcase and my way back to uh, Creek, Greece, because I worked at an air base down there in Iraklion. I stopped over in Germany at Wiesbaden in the officers club and I opened up the box and there it was and I've been using it ever since. All right, the bomb I'm gonna use today is uh, Goodfellow and Company face lotion. Very nice. I've used it before. You don't need much about this much. I like to use a bomb because it can put some moisture back in the face. It just kind of gives a final touch to every room. We gotta step back, I forgot. Usually I step back. Okay now, that's enough. All right, my final opinion. Great razor, wonderful shampoo. Shampoo, soap rather. Nice clean shave. No cuts or nicks. It did a great job. All right, let's go back to front. Goodfellow and Sons was the uh, face lotion I use. Then I used it to back. Old standby. I've been using that for a lot of years. Uh, Thayer's Witch Hazel. Good stuff, Maynard. The razor I use was the Edwin Jagger. DE89KN, the th three piece razor. The blade I used was the Astra third use blade. I probably could use it again. The brush I used was the Frank shaving brush. This, I believe it was a, it feels like a badger brush. And then finally, the star of the show, the reason this whole thing took place was the Perrazzo cream and that came look like this would I recommend this heck yeah I don't know how long they've made this stuff there's probably uh I'll have to look it up long time made in Italy probably can't go to Italy now the whole country's closed down but you still can buy it I'm gonna leave links to all of these products down below and uh some other videos there, there, and over there. So take some time and look at the other videos. They'll talk about the DE89 razor or the blade, that particular blade, and some of the other products. And I hope uh, you learned something from this. I want you to have some good shaves. Leave your comments down below if you have them, especially about the, the pros of the new product I tried. And uh, I answer all my questions, and I really want you guys to have uh, uh, a great, some great shaves and a great day. Stay healthy. Stay indoors now. You don't have to go out with this coronavirus nonsense going around. Uh, leave your comments below, like I said, and subscribe. Push the up button if you like. Is it down if you didn't? And uh, we'll catch you in the next shave. See you later. Bye.